oxygen uptake rate, which is the amount of oxygen used or consumed for one gram of food. The food is measured as volatile mixed liquor suspended solids. You'll see that you have the ambient temperature of the wastewater. You have the starting dissolved oxygen of your test, which is in a Winkler bottle. You have the ending dissolved oxygen value. You have the duration of the test. And you have the mixed liquor volatile suspended solids. The app calculates out uh, uh, constant, and then it uh, does a correction factor, uh, which you'll see here in this case is 6.73. It corrects the specific oxygen uptake rate for what it would be at 24.7 versus what it is at 15 degrees, which is 17.5 milligrams of oxygen per hour per gram of mixed liquor volatile suspended solids. The application indicates based on the SOUR at temperature, it, it gives you what the status of the settling would be like. And this is the settled sludge volume. It says in this case it would be between 600 and 750 milliliters per gram. Settling characteristics gives you what you might anticipate in the way of who's home for the bacteria. And in this particular case, is normal settling, declining growth, stalk ciliates or ciliates, and flock forming. Okay. If we change this value here to 2600 and solve it, you can see that the values were changed. But we have a higher mixed liquor solids, and it tells us that based on the specific oxygen uptake rate, that we now have fast settling sludge, endogenous respiration respiration, rotifers, and higher life forms, and pinpoint flock. So with this application, you are able to get an indication of what you should be looking for in a settled sludge volume and the characteristics of the sludge based on the oxygen uptake rate. You can change the temperatures, you can change the start and ending. This particular part of it assumes a linear uh, consumption of dissolved oxygen. Uh, there are instructions here for how to run the test, okay? The chart is interactive. What you would do is you could enter your data from your test here. This is based on 15 minutes, which is normally the standard time. And if you were only to run 10 minutes, then you would have to blank out the values from 11 to 16. This chart gives you an idea of whether or not it's linear. If you had something else going on and it wasn't linear, then you would have to look at uh, what your biological community and how it's reacting. Uh, it says note the above as well as the start and end times, and it, this explains why it is uh, a linear interpolation of the uh, results. Okay, a uh, new version, or another version, more correctly, uh, will be produced as an alternative, which would allow for regression analysis of the data. But for a simple test, you'd only use the starting and NDO and these values here. Uh, this is uh, on your smartphone, it's on your laptop. It can be used in the field, in the lab, in the sewage plant to, to better uh, evaluate what you're in, uh, having at your condition of your activity sludge.